I was approached about 1963 by um, a, a gentleman named Chris Bernard. It was, um, it was the Chris Wainwright Entertaining Agency. I think that was the correct name. And he says, do you think you, <laughs> you can design me a ballroom? like a Roman villa. And I thought, just for a second, I, and I said, yes, I can. <laughs> just like that. And um, he said, good. He said, um, we, we've got a building in Tunstall and it is an old cinema and it's in Howe Street. I'll give you the keys to the cinema and you can go and look at it and see what you think. Well, he gave me the keys and um, a couple of days later I went back. I opened the door and I had a bit of a shock because uh, the, the hall was completely empty apart from the stage which had a piano on it. That was all and there was about 50 rats running around all over the place. And of course the floor um, um, was raked because it had been an old cinema where the chairs had been, the seats. And then I started to design what is now, or what was now, called the Golden Torch. And uh, I uh, drew it out for him, did a, a sketch plan of uh, the proposals, and what I had done was left the stage as it was, and I had cut the floor back at the, at the rear end, so that it dropped the floor at the rear. All the rubbish from the, from the back was brought forward to level the floor out. We left the stage as it was, and I said what we can do was to build a small low wall around the back end to form a curve, so that the whole thing formed a complete arena, as it would have been in Roman times and he said oh he said that sounds to be a good idea and I said what we can do then is put some railings around the edge of the wall and uh, make a proper entrance. Now the existing building had a balcony and uh, we used the balcony but it had a projection room um, which um, had to be uh, removed obviously and uh, we took the projection room out and formed a complete wall at the back uh, to make a, a balcony bar. And this appeared to be very successful in the end because you had a complete run of the whole building, which was a bar with tables, uh, tables and chairs, and a, a, a centre bar. We put stairs, a new set of stairs in uh, at one end uh, and the, the railings to that were also designed with swords and arrows and all, all types of um, armoury that we could dig up. Uh, and these were made by a company in Longton uh, and the, the railings uh, surrounding the arena were also made by them. Now, next door to the cinema was an old house which Chris Burton wanted to use as an office. So he said, can you incorporate that with the building? So I did do, and I've turned that into a coffee bar downstairs. Over the coffee bar, we put um, a lozier type um, framework also on a curve surrounding the arena. In the entrance hall I designed it so that it was a chariot pay box. I had half wheels made at either side of the pay box with mirrors at the bow so that it reflected the whole wheel. The people paid the cash at the chariot and went in with their tickets. Well, I, don't, I can't tell you how much the tickets were because I never went as a paying patron after all that. We built it and it took about, uh, altogether the whole project took about two years from its inception of plans and um, I, I attended the opening night and we had the Lord, well Mr Burton had arranged it all obviously and um, we had the Lord Mayor and the Chief Fire Officer. We also had the Town Clerk, at that time it was Mr Harry Taylor 
and his wife. I think it was a successful night for the simple reason that the following night was the general public night and there was queue, massive queues outside, so I was told. I didn't go, but uh, there was massive queues outside and uh, everybody seemed to enjoy themselves. Boy, it's a one for the money, two for the show, three and a red, and I don't get no, but don't you? Shout out my new swing, 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 uh huh. Here you go again, but I'll offer my new swing, swing, swing. Well, it's a boom, boom, I'll be swinging shoes, uh huh. A boom, boom, I'll be swinging shoes, baby. Boom, boom, I'll be swinging shoes, yeah. A boom, boom, I'll be swinging shoes. Well, you can do it again, but I'll offer my new swing, shoes. Somewhere along the line, after seven years, one of the canisters, the gas canisters, exploded. And of course, the torch became a, a wreck with fire. I it would be about 1973. And it was such a shame because uh, I'm sure that the golden torch would have lasted a lot longer than it did. When I started it, I thought, I'm never going to do this. But after a while, I thought, yes, it's working out just as I wanted it to. I gave a lot of pleasure to a lot of people, and to me that meant a lot. An excellent project that I really, really enjoyed doing. People will always remember the Golden Torch, particularly those that went there during the 1960s.